to us what you feel about the news that we're about to air, your views and reviews on the news, if I may say so. And how you do that is through the numbers on your screen, SMS line and WhatsApp number, which I'll be able to sample your feedback from. Shall we begin? Let's do that. Now, a section of leaders have come out to castigate the new university funding model. NARC Kenya Party leader Martha Karua has rejected it, citing discrimination. Chief Justice Martha Kome, on the other hand, wants a unified and consolidated fund from where Kenyan students can access funding for tertiary education. George Moringa opens the bulletin for us with this report. As thousands of students prepare for the third semester and freshmen count days to begin their higher education, leaders continue to poke holes into the new university funding model. For starters, NAC Kenya Party leader Mafa Karoa has rejected the new funding model, saying it discriminates learners. Just as Kenyans rejected the heavy hand of the state, in imposing unjustifiable taxes that threaten to crush the livelihoods of millions, we, now re we must now reject this new oppressive university funding model placed on the shoulders of our students and their families. It represents an attempt to extract wealth from the most vulnerable and to consequently deepen the economic divide in our society. In a similar fashion, the ongoing CBC system, competency-based curriculum, which restructures secondary education and segregates junior secondary and the rest of secondary. You know, secondary years are four. So the first two are put aside, away from the other two. The head of the judiciary, Chief Justice Martha Kome, on the other hand, averse that there is need to consolidate the numerous bursaries into one. How unequal and how unjust we are in a society. That the child who has qualified to go to the university can be there crying, saying, look, I've been put in bad five. Is it bad five? When I ought to be in bad one, and therefore I cannot afford to go to the university. And when you follow, you find the person, the child of a well-to-do family has been put in bad one. When you follow, you also find that there is bursary fund given from the taxpayers' money, given to the governor, given to the women rep, given to the MP through CDF, given to the MCA. I hope none of them is here because they are going to reach me. Now, all those bursaries, how are they disbursed? Why wouldn't you put them in education and make education free for all? Government spokesperson Isaac Mwaura, in his Thursday address to the nation, talked of a flawed appeal process which he says is being corrected. <laughs> wanafunzi walikuwa wajue matokeo ya, ya kile kitengo ambacho mtu amewekwa kufikia tarehe 19 lakini sasa hivi kuna huo mwanya wa kuweza kukata rufaa na hilo ni jambo ambalo litaendelea kile ambacho nitakuhakishia ni kwamba hakuna mtu yote atawachwa ata nje akose kuingia katika chuo kikuu ama taasisi kwa kisingizio kwamba bado hajaweza kupatiwa mkopo ama kupatiwa fedha au fadhili nasi. With a few weeks left before learning resumes, eyes will be on the government and the Ministry of Education to see how they navigate the implementation of the new university funding model. George Maringa, TV47, Nairobi.